Hello all my Wild Wednesday friends, it's week 16 and we will be learning who wrote down the words in the Bible. I hope you enjoy your godly game show. Dear God, thank you for my friends. Thank you for the friends. Please help us learn more about you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now it's time for our music video. Let's get our shakers out and have some fun. and welcome to our Godly Game Show. I'm Pastor JJ, and I know I am no Miss Tucha. She is amazing, she is so much fun, and she's such a great teacher, but she's getting a couple of weeks off, so I will be your host 
for the Godly Game Show for the next couple of weeks. And on tonight's episode of the Godly Game Show, we have two guests, Miss Christina and Miss Sandy. Hi, y'all. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Good, how are great, you? Great, great. Are you ready for a very difficult question? No. No? Not ready? <laughs> Christina's not ready. Well, this week, we are asking, who wrote the words in the Bible? God. Really? That is true. But do you think that God, like, wrote down with his hand with, like, a pen and a paper? Well, no, I think prophets did that. Prophets, I think that is true. Prophets did write down some of the words in the Bible. Wow. How about somebody like the disciples? Like the disciples of Jesus. Right. They did write a lot of the words in the Bible. This is true. Anybody else? Who, who else do you think wrote some of the words in the Bible? I think some kings might have. That's true, too. Luke. I think that's a prophet, though, too. (laughs) Luke is not a prophet. Luke is actually one of the disciples of Jesus. And Luke was a physician. He was a doctor. He was also, and this is really cool, Luke was somebody who loved stories. And he loved history, especially. So when he tells us and writes stories in the Bible, he's very careful. He remembers every little detail because he wants people to believe and know that this story is so true. It's like when you're telling a story to your friend and you you just remember because it was so personal to you that you're able to remember every detail, what you ate for breakfast, you know, what color shirt you were wearing, um, you know, where you went that day to the grocery store, what you ate for lunch, over and over again. Luke was really careful about those details. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I had no idea. Me either. Well, that's, that's what is, it, is so cool about the Bible, and it's so cool about the stories in the Bible, is that they're all written by different people. So there were more people than just Luke? So many more people. Mm. So, yeah, well, I, think, I think John wrote some. John did write some. Yeah, I've heard of John. I, yeah, I, I think John did. Yeah. There are countless people who wrote stories in the Bible. And that's the answer to our question of who wrote the words in the Bible. But we know that God is the one who gave all those people the words. And we know that all of these people are very different. Luke is very different than a prophet. John is very different from a king, like King Solomon. Do you guys know who King Solomon is? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And King David. And King David. And King David. Do you, here's another question for our Godly Game Show. <laughs> what kinds of words did King David write in the Bible? Praise and songs. Very good. <laughs> king David was a songwriter. That's smart. Yeah. <laughs> He wrote songs about how awesome God is. All right, one more question for tonight's Godly Game Show. I think you're beating me, Sandy. (laughs) Pressure. What kind of stories or information or words did King Solomon write? I know it. He was very wise. Wisdom. Wow, that's very good. Wisdom. Christina, what do you think wisdom is Mm, kind of like a life lesson yeah it is a lot like a life lesson wisdom is knowing about god and knowing how to live like god wants us to live okay i can see that you guys did really really great tonight good job miss sandy (laughs) we know so much and we learned so much about who wrote the words in the bible many different people but they were all writing the words that God gave them. Thanks for coming to our Godly Game Show. Good night. Hey, Wild Wednesday kids, Pastor Doug in the house, literally in your house right now. Tonight's Bible verse is Lamentations chapter 3, verse 23. His great love is new every morning.
Lord, how faithful you are. It reminds me of a great hymn we used to sing. Great is thy faithfulness. Praise the Lord. Later. Hi, guys. We're going to be going into our science. And during science, you will see Bob and Sandy and how they make a hand. Hello. Welcome to week 16 of Wild Wednesday. Get your packet out that says 16, and you're in it, you're going to find a hand with these strings hanging off of it. And you're going to find some little pieces of straws cut, so take those out and spread them out. And you're going to need your scotch tape, very important. And I would say, very important to get a partner, whether it's your yes. mom or dad or grandma you or brother. Helper. You need a helper on this one. So we're going to show you how a hand works. And the reason we're doing it is because we've talked about the Bible and how the Bible came to being. And many people wrote the Bible. Right, and so how do you write? You write with your hand. You have to use you your hand. You need your fingers in your hand so you can grab things, grip things. So we're going to um, not do the entire project because it takes kind of a long time. So we're going to just show you um, how we've done it. So you're going to take your tape and you're going to cut off a piece that's like, oh, maybe an inch or an inch and a half. Something that will cover the straw. And then what you're going to do is take your straw and you're going to feed your yarn through the straw down. Now as you can see, we've already done where we have the tips of the fingers are in there. So you're going to come down to the bottom of the finger, okay? Roughly around the bottom of the finger. And this is where you got to have your partner because you're going to have to hold the string and hold that in place while your partner takes the straw down. And you have to be careful not to take the yarn. Yes. Otherwise, your hand's going to have problems. Because the yarn represents, what's the yarn represent, Mr. Bodegon? The yarn represents your tendons, and your tendons are what pull your fingers down and squeeze, so that's what the yarn is doing. Okay, so now we're going to do another piece. So each of the fingers, you're going to put an extra two pieces of straws, because there's one on the tip already, and so each finger gets two more. So make sure you're not putting extras on any one, because you have just enough. So now we're going to tape this one. Okay, and we have to pick it up and tape it around. Okay. Now we're going for another finger. So it's a slow process, but it's, you'll love it when it's done, because it's pretty cool. And it took a lot of work to write the Bible, I think, Mr. Bob. Oh, yes. It took many, many people using many, many fingers and hands. You know, have you guys ever written a letter? I mean, how tired your hand gets? Can you imagine writing all the words in the Bible? I can't. It would be exhausting. Especially if you're a guy like me who doesn't like to write. No, so it's not easy. Okay, so we're going to be almost done with our last finger. And like I say, you guys, it's going to take a little while, but we just wanted to give you an idea of how to do it. So you don't have to have it finished by the time we finish our video. Just take your time. And, yeah, there's no hurry because you want it to work freely. Okay, and now your thumb only gets one extra little straw. And you see we already have one in the tip, so we're just going to put an extra one here. Here's the straw on that's the bottom. It's quite the process. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now what happens, Mr. Bob? Well, now that you've got them all done, these are, like I said before, these are like your tendons. So when you pull down, your finger bends. Mm -hmm. Just like my fingers are bending. Yep, and you grip. 
That's awesome. Well, we're hoping every time you pull this out, you'll think about the people that wrote the Bible and what it takes to use your hands. And you learned a little bit about how your hand works. See you Thank next you. time. Bye, See guys. You again. And that was a wrap of week 16 of Wild Wednesday. We hope you guys learned so much during our Godly Game Show. Miss Sandy and I had a blast learning about who wrote the words in the Bible. We learned that there were many different people that wrote down things for us to be able to learn and have the Bible be passed down for us. And then we did a super fun project with Miss Sandy and Mr. Bob. Mr. Bob taught us all about our hands and our tendons in our hands to make them do all these crazy little things. Your strings on that hand pull down and act like your tendons. So we hope you guys had fun and we hope you learned so much and we hope you learned on how important your hands really are. I hope you guys enjoyed all of our fun activities tonight. Don't forget to join us next week for more of our fun. We'd love to see you. Goodbye.